So what are the different levels of influence? Well, there are three levels. There's manipulation, there's persuasion, and there's influence. They're all doing something to change the way that you think, the way you feel, or the way you behave. The difference is quite subtle, and it's about the outcomes, who owns the outcome, and whose best interests it's in. With manipulation, the manipulator owns the outcome and the only benefit. They don't care if there's any benefit in it for the other person. So they're using the other person to get what they want. It tends to be covert, and the relationships tend to be short-term because nobody likes being used. With persuasion, the outcome is a benefit to both. But the outcome is still owned by the persuader. So the persuader is saying, come over, do what I want you to do, but we're both going to get something out of it. With influence, which is a higher level, it's a much more subtle force. With influence, you don't even have to meet the person you're influencing or being influenced by. It can be a remote thing. You can be influenced by books. You can be influenced by sports heroes, by politicians, by people you admire. With influence, the interaction is to the benefit of both. But the outcome has been let go of. It can be created collaboratively and maybe of a much higher order than anything either party ever thought of in the first place. So persuasion, manipulation, and influence. Three levels, all using the same techniques. All trying to get you to change the way you think, feel, or behave. The difference is the level of your intention in whose benefit you're acting and who owns the outcome and whether you're willing to let it go enough to achieve a possibly higher result that you haven't even considered yet.